After several days of sailing, the Darwin 200 team arrives in the Sea of the Hebrides, home to dozens of islands and famed for their ancient history. Our first stop is the Isle of Lewis, where we set out to explore on shore. Welcome everyone to the spectacular standing stones of Callanish on the Isle of Lewis in Scotland. This incredible group of standing stones is over 5,000 years old, which is older than the pyramids in Egypt. These stones, they are huge. This is probably the biggest one of all here in this structure. It's over five meters tall. Just look at the size of this thing. They're arranged in an inner circle here, then with four arms, like a cross. These two being really long, that one's over 80 meters. This one's, I guess, about 30, 40. And the same, two sm smaller side arms. Then in the center, there's this incredible ring of these giant stones. No one really knows when they were put here exactly or why. They say they're believed to be over 5,000 years old. And for over 1,500 years, they were used as a site for rituals and ceremonies. No one also knows really how they were transported. Can you imagine trying to move blocks of granite like this? I mean, look, this is as wide as me and two or three times as tall. And obviously, there's obviously a, a, a section down in the ground as well. So the weight of these things, dragging them up these hills to make these structures is just incredible. Just goes to show the importance to, to what they must have been to these Bronze Age people that made them all those centuries and centuries and centuries ago. There's lots of different beliefs. Some people believe that they were for the stars or for aligning to different, different times in the lunar cycle. The truth is, no one really knows. There's a lot of old traditional beliefs as well here on the island. Some people call them false men, men that were turned to stone. Although I'm not quite sure about that belief, to be honest, personally. Um, it's also believed that there's a, a mythical creature called the Shining One that walks through these stone circles just on one day a year. So whether that's true or not, I, I, I'm not really able to tell you. There's another belief that these also were people that were turned to stone after not believing in Christianity and not converting to Christianity. So that's another belief as well. Just walking around them, you can see they're all different shapes and all different sizes, but most of them are quite thin. They're relatively thin and broad. So they were obviously selected and carved for those exact purpose and those exact, those exact shapes. Just walking around them here in the middle, there's a little depression. Look here. This, I mean, this looks as if it could have had a, perhaps an altar. Perhaps there's a big stone slab that went across here as the center of the ceremony and the center of the rituals that took place here. Walking down this, you can see this long corridor of stones. I mean, I think there's over a hundred in total. It's pretty amazing to see. And just to remember that they're 5,000 years old and older than the pyramids in Giza. It's pretty amazing to think. Stone has been used here in Scotland for, for centuries and centuries and centuries. And our next stop is the traditional houses on the Isle of Lewis, the black houses. So let's go check those out. Mm -hmm. 